wanted to show my process of making soaps a little bit. Um, I apologize for the crappy, uh, for the crappy phone camera. I don't have a tripod stand at the moment, so this is me right here. I have no tripod stand at the moment, but I will be working on, or cell phone, tripod, whatever. But I'll be working on getting something better. This is my area. I know it looks crappy, but despite the thing right here, it is clean. I put down wax paper on it every time I soap. So it's just a little disorganized. And the underneath part of the table needs to be wiped a little bit better, but it's clean. I clean it every time I soap. So this, I'm going to be making an introduction. Hopefully, I am going to be able to do this and edit this properly, but I'll be explaining what recipe I'm using. And I have to use ice to try to keep this recipe cool. Once you're, uh, once you see what the recipe is, you'll understand why I felt like I needed the ice. So, just gonna pour a little bit of lye down here. Mix it up really good. My oil's out of the way. I don't want any free flowing lye going into that. Nope. Ooh, my colors. Mix it up really good and I have to make double certain that everything's mixed because what's going to start happening is this is going to start melting when it interacts with the lye because it heats up to, if you'd have regular water and you don't have um, ice in here, it heats up to like 180 degrees or somewhere like that. It gets pretty close to 200 sometimes depending, you know, on circumstances. But try to keep it stirred up, put in a little bit at a time. I've got kind of a big ice cube, so it's kind of a little bit hard to stir it. But once everything starts melting, I won't have as much problem with that. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out my editing software and I'll be able to speed up through this. It's kind of hard to tell that I went to video school, ain't it? I just don't have the equipment. I had in video school, Final Cut Pro and stuff. can't do what I need to do, I might just put this in parts, pretty much. Just film it, film it in parts and just upload it in parts. So people like part one, part two, and stuff like that. But I'll try very hard to get it edited correctly. At least to the best of my equipment and abilities at the moment. It's kind of got a lot of water in it. Hopefully you can see that. Just pop them down real good.
kind of what ha wonder what would happen if I put this in there with the ice too, a little bit. Okay. But I'm not gonna try it. I do not have the resources and materials to try this. Do too much experimentation. Almost all the way melted. it until it becomes clear, I think. Focus. Now you're just a crappy little phone camera, but you can do better than that. This also cuts down on fumes. I've noticed that I'm not having the issue with fumes that I normally do. Not that I have a huge issue with them or anything, but hmm. It looks like it's mixed all the way in and yet it's still milky looking. It's not a good thing. I don't think it is, anyways. Alright, I'll start filming again in a little while. 